I know it's a little late in the game to be asking a question like this, but more and more these days I've been asking myself if perhaps the German language was the wrong choice of languages and maybe, maybe it's time to start over with a new language. Uh, and since we're already out here and since it's getting kind of chilly, uh, let's also do the 2024 season wrap-up video. This was supposed to be two separate videos, but uh, it seriously is getting kind of chilly out here and the season is pretty much over at this point. So let's combine them into one and uh, call it done for the season. Where do we want to start? Let's start with the wrap-up video. If you're new here, if you just subscribed this year, what I like to do at the end of the season is just do a quick wrap-up to cover uh, major changes that happened in the channel this year and also take a look forward to what kind of things we might expect to see from next season. Uh, this year, if you're a long-time subscriber, you may have noticed a dramatic increase in video quality. No, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. At the start of this year, I uh, dropped some money and uh, invested in some much better cameras. People were telling me that my videos were giving them motion sickness. Motion sickness? I thought, really? Uh, but when I go back and watch some of those older videos, let's do a split screen here. Let's do, on the left you're looking at uh, the old cameras, and on the right you're looking at the newer cameras from this season. It's an amazing difference when you look at it. When you see them side by side, I can totally understand where people were coming from. Uh, I don't think I ever explicitly mentioned it this season, so let's just do a quick demo right now. Here's camera one, mounted on the, the helmet facing forward. One thing I've learned about myself, from watching my own channel is that I tend to move my head a lot when I'm talking. On the old camera, you'd pick up every single head movement. But check this out, let's do a split screen here. If I move my head while I'm talking, or like I'm simulating driving over a bumpy road or something, look how steady camera one shot remains. It's really quite striking. That's not me fixing it in post-production. That's how it comes out of the camera. The camera itself can stabilize that image. It's amazing what the newer cameras can do. It also allows me to do some things with the new cameras that I could never do with the old cameras. For example, strap a camera on the front of the bike facing forward and then go for a ride somewhere super scenic and uh, accelerate the footage, put it to music or whatever. It, uh, I think those videos are a lot of fun. In other channel news this year, we picked up over 100 new subscribers. Welcome aboard if you're new here. I hope you like what you find. Uh, that is the single largest increase in subscriber count since season one. And I think there's a straight line between these two things. These are not unrelated news items. The fact that my videos are no longer giving people motion sickness means that we can finally start to pull in some subscribers. <laughs> and if I could go back and change just one thing about this channel, it would be that I would have invested much sooner than I did into proper camera equipment. Uh, I didn't in season one. I didn't want to drop a lot of money on this because I didn't know if it was going to go anywhere, you know, if I would ever get more than, you know, three or four subscribers. Or people were just going to be in the comments telling me, oh, you suck, you know, like I... I didn't know if it was going to amount to anything, so I didn't spend a lot of money on it, but I kind of wish I had in hindsight. Lessons learned. So, what can we look forward to next season? My original plan for uh, season 5, 2025 of this channel was Lernen und fahren in Deutschland! Take an extended trip to Germany, rent a motorcycle, and drive around the German countryside talking about the German language in Germany. I think that would have been pretty crazy. But I also think it's not going to happen, not only because of various logistical difficulties in arranging that trip, but also because, and actually that's a good segue point to talk about the next subject of this video, which is, was the German language the wrong choice? I'm not going to get into the reasons why I decided to learn German. I've told that story a million times, it's not very interesting. Uh, the short, short, short version is that I spent the last eight years, and I know eight years sounds like a really crazy long time to learn a language, but I've spent the last eight years learning German. In my defense, the first three or four of those years, I was very casual about it. It was like 15 to 20 minutes a day is all I was putting into it. It was only after the, you know, third or fourth year that I said, I said to myself, maybe I should get serious about this. Uh, I want to stress, before I uh, go any further, that I love the German language. I really do. Of all the foreign languages I've studied in my lifetime, German easily is my favorite one. It's also the one where I have advanced the most. Uh, the only one that comes close is French. I got up to A2, maybe B1, the lower intermediate range in French, years ago. Uh, I've come much further with my German than I ever did with any other language, and I really do love this language. It took a long time to get here, but I really do love communicating in this language. Uh, but I live in Canada, and German is not a really widely spoken language in this country. Yeah, I know there's a few people here and there who speak German. I've known some of them. Uh, but by and large, outside of extremely infrequent trips to Germany, I don't know where I can really practice my German in real life. I've never used it at work, not once. I've never... The only chances I get to actually uh, speak German 
mostly is uh, online, either when I'm making videos for this channel or when I'm talking with my uh, pen pals or uh, Skype buddies in Germany or Austria or Switzerland. But an actual sit-down conversation face-to-face -face in German is so rare that it basically never happens. So I feel like I've spent eight years learning a skill that I rarely or maybe never get to actually use. So what was the point? Meanwhile, one thing I've learned as I've gotten older is that I really, really, really hate Canadian winters. Canadian winters are miserable, guys. It's not just the cold. It's not just the snow. It's the darkness. The sun sets at 4.30 in the afternoon. It's pitch black by the time you're done work. It's like living in a cave. You can go days or weeks without seeing the sun. It's depressing. There's a phenomenon in Canada called snowbirds. Snowbirds are people, usually elderly people, but not always elderly people. They're people who flock south for the winter. You know, when the season starts to change and it starts to get cold and miserable here, they pack up their stuff and they leave. You know, they go down south, they go to Texas or Arizona or Cal California or Florida, or they go further south. They go to Mexico, they go to Panama, they go to Colombia, they go to Chile, they go to Argentina. If you cross the equator, the seasons flip, you know, our winter time is their summer time. So in theory, you could live year round in summer. That's such a wild concept to me. We used to make fun of these people when we were kids, you know, like, oh, what's the matter? You can't handle a Canadian winter. But the older I get, the more I not only understand those people, I actually kind of want to be one of them. Uh, when the seasons change, I want to just flock south and tour around Central or South America, you know? Here's the problem. The further south you go, the more people speak Spanish. I don't speak a word of Spanish. Maybe gracias amigo, that's about all I've got. If you stick to the touristy areas, like Acapulco or Rio de Janeiro or whatever, you're probably okay with just English. But if you are gonna go down there, not for a few days, but for a few weeks or longer, you probably don't wanna stick to just the touristy areas. You probably wanna get out and, you know, meet people, make new friends. I don't know how far my English would get me down there. And I really don't think my German would be of much use to be down there. Do people speak German in South America? I don't know. So I kind of want to switch gears and uh, stop focusing on German, start focusing on Spanish. In fact, I've already started to do this this last little while. But it leads me to the question, and let's bring this back on topic for this video. Uh, what do I do with this YouTube channel? Do I continue to make videos in German while I'm trying to learn Spanish? Can I even do that? Is my brain big enough for two foreign languages at the same time? I'm genuinely concerned, genuinely concerned that as I dial it down with German and dial it up with Spanish, I'm going to slowly forget my German. And the reason I say that is because that's exactly what happened to my French. When I stopped studying French and started focusing on German, slowly over time, I forgot almost everything I know about the French language. Some of it comes back to me every now and then, but largely when I go to ask my brain, hey, what's the French word for such and such? My brain comes back with the German word for it. And I'm like, yeah, thanks brain, that's great, but that's not what I asked for. So I'm mildly concerned that the same thing is going to eventually happen uh, to my German. But then what do I do with this channel? Do I, do I try to learn both languages at once? Do I, I don't know, one idea I had was like, maybe there are Spanish courses available in German. You know, I could use my German to learn Spanish instead of going from English to Spanish. But from searching around online, it seems there are far more resources for Spanish learning available in English as opposed to German. So I don't know how realistic that option is. So let's bring it back to topic. What do I do with this YouTube channel? Do I continue making videos in German? Do I switch gears entirely? Do I start making videos about the Spanish language? Uh, if so, how many of my subscribers would just immediately leave? Like, I, I'm guessing you guys subscribed because you want to talk about the German language, not because you want to talk about the Spanish language. It, it feels like I'd be kicking myself all the way back to season one. I'd be starting from scratch. Do I try to split the difference? Do I say every odd-numbered episode is going to be about the German language and every even-numbered episode is going to be about the Spanish language? Would people stick around for that? Or do I do something really ambitious? Do I try to make videos about the Spanish language in German or try to make videos about the German language in Spanish. That's pretty niche. I think the target audience for that would be very small. Or do I just say, maybe that's it. Maybe this is the last episode. Maybe we shut it down, you know? We had 75 episodes on this channel, including this one. We had, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 really good ones. But maybe that's, that's just it. Maybe we just uh, call it done. I don't really know. I don't know what to do. Fortunately, I don't need to uh, make that decision right now Because here we are at the end of the season. We're about to shut it down for the winter anyway, so here's my plan 
I'm going to uh, wrap up this video and uh, get it online, get the blooper reel up there for the year, and then, as we always do, put the channel onto winter hiatus and just think about it over the winter. We'll see how far I get with Spanish in the next six months. Maybe we come back next year in a brand new format. Maybe we come back next year in the same format as what we've been doing. Or maybe we just don't come back at all. I don't really know. Let me turn around here. Let's find somewhere to pull over and uh, finish on a tripod shot. Maybe right up ahead here. So if this is the last episode on this channel, I may never get another chance to say this. I know nobody asked me, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, my personal favorite episode on this channel, not just from this season, but from all time, the very best episode this channel ever produced, you might laugh when you hear this, it's this one. It's episode 55. I know that was such a simple premise for a, a video, but check this out. I didn't script it. I didn't rehearse it. Uh, I didn't even know what result I was going to get. I literally just wrote out one afternoon and I just ad-libbed it. Everything you see in that episode is ad-libbed. I just winged it. I winged the whole thing. Normally when I try to wing an episode, it's a gong show. It's a disaster. But that one episode, it all just kind of came together. Now there's been some exceptions here and there where I managed to actually get an episode in one take. Uh, but by and large, uh, it's kind of a mess. It's kind of a messy process. You'll see that when I upload the blooper reel for this season. Uh, but that one episode, everything just kind of came together. Everything just kind of worked. I wish the whole channel could have been like that one episode. It was just, it's a fun little episode. I like that one. So uh, if you wanted to really cheer me up this winter, uh, you could post a comment down below and say, what was your favorite part of this ride? If this is the end of the ride, what was the part that made you laugh? What was the, what was the best thing you learned from this channel? Comments like that would really keep me warm during this upcoming cold, bleak Canadian winter. <laughs> So I guess that's it for this season, and maybe forever. I don't know if we're coming back next year. If we are coming back next year, it might be in a totally different format. I, I really don't know. I'm going to think about it over the next six months, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. So once again, I wish you guys all the very best of luck in your language learning efforts, no matter where you are in the process, whether you're just starting out or whether you've been at this for a while. Uh, I hope that you have good success and that you continue to hit your targets uh, in your language learning efforts, no matter what those targets might be. Now, I know every season, at the end of the season, we do a little comedy bit where I pretend to take the helmet off, uh, but at the last second, I cut the camera or do something stupid. Uh, but if this is the last season on this channel, then I guess I've got nothing left to lose, right? I mean, why not? Why not? Let's do it. Let's actually take the helmet off this time so you can all see who I really am. And ich bin Ferdinand.